Hi, this is a quick introduction to Autofiler. Autofiler can manage your files for you. It has quite a number of features. I'll demonstrate some of them now. Let's say we have an application that we're going to remove from our Applications folder here. I'm going to open the trash to show you what happens when I remove it. If I drag it into the trash, Autofiler will notice this and prompt you if you want to remove the preference files. If you say yes, they will also appear in the trash. If I change my mind later and drag it back to my Applications folder, Autofiler will notice and prompt you if you want to reinstate your preference files. If you say yes, they'll go back to where they came from. This also works multi-user. If the other user is using Autofiler and you remove an application, they'll also be prompted when they log in. You can also set up rules for folders. In this case, I'm going to set up a rule in my Downloads folder. I'm going to set up a rule that says, for new files, if the creation date was in the last, let's say, one day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a Growl notification. So I'm going to pop up a notice on the user screen. And I'm going to show the file name. And I'm also going to colour the file red if it's been added in the last day. So I'm just going to open my Downloads folder so that you can see what happens. I'm going to copy a few documents into there. What will happen is they'll get coloured red and we'll get a notification on the screen from Growl. There we go. They've been coloured red and we've got some Growl notifications. There's really no limit to the rules that we can add in Autofiler. We can add rules concerning the name of the file, extension, finder comment, colour, size, creation dates, owners, and we can also use all the spotlight attributes to do with images, audio, and so forth. We can also do AND and OR rules. If we hold down the OPTION key, we can add nested rules with AND and OR. And when we take an action, there's also many options that we can choose. We can move the file, copy it, rename it, sync folders, set colour labels, finder comments, archive files, unarchive them, open them, run automated workflows, Apple scripts, shell scripts, and so forth. One of the most useful things we can do is working with the trash. There are some default rules that Autofiler installs. You can choose these options to delete large files immediately, to purge the oldest files from the trash periodically, or to delete any files that are older than a certain age. Instead of having to empty a trash, you can just let it uh, autofiler remove things from the trash according to your rules. So those are the basics of autofiler. Let autofiler take the hard work out of managing your files. Thanks for watching.